So here I am with Brent Leary, one of the experts in CRM and social media and everything, everything. And so, Brent, you're here at the Oracle Open World. Tell me about your impressions of this event. It's really cool because this is the first time I've been to Oracle Open World. I really didn't know what to expect. Uh, what I found is a lot of things going on, so many different topics. Of course, CRM is the one that I'm more interested, mostly interested in. And so it was good to see where CRM fit in to the overall what's going on with Oracle. And I like the direction that they're taking in terms of uh, really moving out. It, you know, when you look at what Oracle has done with social CRM, it tend to be focused really heavily on the internal side and, and making it better for sales and sales teams to be able to connect and collaborate to engage customers. Now I'm seeing it sort of branching out and infecting, directly affecting the customer with some of the things they're doing, particularly when they're starting to move it out and putting it in those devices that everybody's using. Yeah, so you wanted to talk to me about social, mobile, and CRM. Yeah, I think it all is going, it's starting to go hand in hand. No pun intended, you know, <laughs> the whole mobility thing. But I think it's the, you know, these smart devices, they're doing the, the ability to do things in these devices that we could only dream of years ago. And that's allowing this whole social uh, media usage and the way we interact, it, it's allowing it to spread even further and it's crossing the lines even more. You know, we used to look at uh, these devices as something that maybe were for kids or maybe it was just for email and, and making phone calls. Now you can do just about anything you could have done on a laptop. Now you can do on the, with these devices. And that also is spreading social CRM. It's making it easier for people to stay connected and to share information. And so I think the rise of social CRM is being really moved forward because of the rise of these devices. So do you have a favorite device that you use for social CRM being mobile? I have several devices. <laughs> You're holding <laughs> one of those devices that I have. Yeah. But I have, I have a BlackBerry. I have an iPhone. Uh, I have the Flip. Right. I have an Olympus LS10 for doing audio. Oh, I'm you're the really, gadget man. I'm a gadget dude. It's like, that's why you have two hips. You have to pull <laughs> these things out. So that's all great. these cool things, and they're relatively inexpensive, and they're easy to carry around. I, have, I also have my little netbook, which makes it easy for me to do things. So all these things are so easy to use, and they allow you to take HD video and shoot text messages. And it's just great, and I think it's really helping not only me, but it's helping all these other people stay connected and share information and build those relationships that we wouldn't have been able to do years ago, so it's really great. I know, it's really cool to have connected with you guys here because I was in another room, and so I DM'd a couple, you know, Paul and you, and I said, hey, where are you guys? And because of, you know, being able to use Twitter and Seismic and TweetDeck, we're able to, you know, instantly be in communication, which to me is really fun. Well, I mean, I first met you at the CRM Mag conference, right? And we yeah. had, you know, we kind of seen each other's pictures tweets and tweets, tweets. Exactly. right? Exactly. And then that was the funnest thing wow. for me is to go, oh my God, it's you. Wow. Okay. Well, that's let's... the best part of all this stuff. It's like you build these relationships with people. I call them like the accidental community. The hashtag is not just a hashtag. It begins a community. And I, I started using the SCRM thing maybe about a year ago. And I didn't know what to expect from it, but all of a sudden, all these other great people started using it. And we had these conversations, these conversations built into real relationships. And then you meet these people at these events, and you already feel like you know them. And so that is really what I consider the, the essence of social CRM is using technology to get uh, to know people. And you go from knowing them to liking them, and then eventually you trust them. And so. I think that's really what we should be aiming for with all this, using technology to, to really reach out and get to know people that maybe you never would have had a chance to know and build a relationship like this. So technology equals trust. It can. It can be used for <laughs> it can be used for evil purposes too. It could be, but what a concept, right, from the days of not really considering the people part of technology to the point where now you're right. I mean we use the hashtag SCRM or yeah. S or customers pound customer service and a lot of us really didn't know each other. I mean Esteban was a Gartner analyst, so for all you know, intents and purposes, I'm a Forrester, he's a Gartner. Would we ever become nah, friends? It'd be like the Jets versus the Sharks. <laughs> exactly. And now here we are with all these industry pundits hanging out, you know yeah. eating donuts and, and having like and an amazing time and sharing thoughts and building relationships and friendships and so I'm just really grateful. 
I think that's the best part of these kind of face-to-face -face events. I mean, there's a lot of great education. There's a lot, a lot of great of announcements and. But the pieces that I really enjoy the most are just like you're saying, being able to actually sit down face to face with some of the folks that you've been tweeting with back and forth and really building a, a bigger, stronger relationship. So I, I really appreciate that. And I think overall my impressions of Oracle Open World was uh, very well done. Lots of good information. There were some you know, questionable parts along the way, but you get that when you have 37,000 people coming together. So overall, I thought it's been very good. Right, and I think, uh, you know, we really like the cloud, but we didn't want that many clouds. We didn't <laughs> want that downport we yeah, had the other day. Yeah. But I, my, from my hotel room, I was able, the first night, I was able to see great view on 28th floor, great view of Alcatraz. Mm. The next morning, Alcatraz was gone. I didn't know what happened to it. <laughs> the clouds took it away, basically. Right. But it's been a, a really cool trip overall. All right. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to the next conference. Thank you. Same thank here. you.